you know, we do have a little bit of a tired bullpen, as you might imagine, and another day's rest would do them a lot of good. We have some guys available, like Zach Pearson pitched on Thursday and then didn't pitch the rest of the weekend. Um, you know, we didn't use Hunter Newman on, uh, on Saturday, Sunday, and obviously today he won't. So we'll have some guys, uh, but like Stallings won't be available tomorrow night. So hopefully Bowman and, and Reynolds can get us through the majority of the game and we just have to use a little bit at the end. Um, and then on um, Wednesday we're going to start Jake Godfrey in the game Wednesday against uh, Northwestern State. And then we'll, we'll use whichever guys we need or wish to use to keep them sharp. Uh, on Wednesday. What do you need to see from Jake or what do you want to see from Jake? <laughs> I'd like to see him get past the first couple innings of a ball game. You know, it's the last couple weekends have been tough for him and tough for our team. It's, you know, first of all, for our team, it, you know, it, it taxis your bullpen and it, and it you know, fortunately for, for us, Austin Bain, Austin Bain pitched just unbelievably out of the bullpen and, and really saved our pen as well as giving us a chance to win. It was, a, it was a tremendous performance. But typically when your starting pitcher doesn't make it past the second inning, boy, it really puts you in a real bind. And from Jay Godfrey's standpoint, I, mean, I still think the world of the kid, I think he's got a lot of talent, I think he's got a bright future, I think he's gonna be an outstanding pitcher at LSU, but he needs to get back on the horse right away. I, mean, we, like I told him, I said, you pitched a grand total of two innings in two weeks, we need to get you out there and get some mound time. So he's going to go Wednesday and, you know, hopefully pitch a good ball game on Wednesday for us.